Drawing arcs. Let's go up to the draw panel and here we'll see our arc options. We have a lot of type of arcs. So let's first define an arc. An arc is a portion of a circle. So we have many different arcs. Some of the things we're going to need to know is a start is where we pick first. The center is at the midpoint or center of the arc. In the end is the last point we pick. We also need to know the included angle, where it says angle. The included angle is the angle that's formed between the center, the start point, and the end point. So it's what angle that forms. We also have the chord length, in other words, the length. The chord length is the distance between two points on the circle or an arc. So it's the cut across length. So as you can see here with the little diagram, it's the measurement across in blue here. Between those, we can generally make all types of an arcs. The first and easiest uh, arc is the three point arc. I always recommend to start with that first. So I pick the three point arc, I pick a start point, the, the more of the center or the second point on the arc, and the third point. It can be any three points on the arc. Uh, we'll build that. Once again, uh, I'll go up to the three point arc. I pick, I pick, and I pick. So any three points of the arc. And uh, I'm going to erase that. Next. Let's do the start, center, end. So I'm going to go up and choose the start, center, end. I'm going to start over here on the right, pick a center, and then I'm going to pick an end point. So that's the start, center, end. I have the start, the center, and the end. Notice that one in the counterclockwise direction. Typically, arcs like the counterclockwise direction. Um, if we get an incorrect arc, uh, you can hold down the control key and it'll switch the directions. Next, let's go to the start center angle. So the start center angle, I'm going to pick a start point over here. I'm going to pick a center point over here. And then I'm going to define the angle. And I'll say I want it to be 45 degrees. Boink. And so it draws an included angle of 45 degrees. All right. And it's depending what kind of data you have to which one of these you want. Let's go to the start center length. Start center length. So now I'm going to pick a start point here. I'm going to pick the center point down here. And I'm going to say, what is the length of the chord? And I'm going to say 90. I'm going to hit enter. And the distance from here to here is 90 units. So that was our start center length. And now let's go to our start and angle. So we have start and angle. I'm going to pick the start point over here. I'm going to pick the end point over here. And now I'm going to give the included angle of what I want. So I'm going to say it's uh, uh, 120. So now it's the included angle from the start up to the, the angle is the included angle. Now let's go to... The next one, which is start in direction. And I'm going to go here with the start in direction. I'm going to pick a start point. I'm going to pick an end point. And then I'm going to pick a tangent direction. Remember, which point is when they share a tangency point. So I'm going to pick a point heading up this direction. And now that is a start and direction and now let's do a start in radius start
start and in radius. So here I have a start point, I have an end point, and I'm going to define a radius. I'm going to go with 40, and there I have a start and radius. Next go start, or excuse me, let's go center, start, end. Center, start, end. And here I'm going to pick, it'll ask for the center point. I'll pick that. It'll ask for the start point. And then I'll have, pick the end point. And I'll pick the end point. And boom. Start, I mean center, start and end. So we're just picking them in different orders. Um, if we would have said, you know, start and center, uh, or start, center, and it's just what order they're in. Uh, next, let's go to start, I mean center, start, angle. And in this one, we're going to pick the center point first. And then we're going to pick the start point over here and then we're going to give the included angle uh, and I'll go 30 degrees alright so sometimes they're just in different order it depends on which order you want to put the values in and last let's do center start length center start length and I'm going to pick the center point down here I'm going to pick the start and then I'm going to pick the length of the cord. So I'm going to pick, let's say, 100 and enter. So now this is the length of the cord from here to there equals 100. So you can see we have many different ways of creating an arc. Based on the information you have, you can pick which one of these options is good for you. The most, the easiest one is a three point. And then the rest of them, it's either a start a center point on the arc and then an end point. Those things can alter in order. We also have the included angle which is the angle formed between the center and the start point and the end point of the arc. We also have the chord length that stands by the length and the chord length is the linear distance between two points on an arc.